So I wanted to talk about this because I noticed that it was like a Google topic. Like a lot of people Googled this, but people really were interested in the Tiffany and uh, what's her husband's name? Oh my gosh, I can't think of his name. Tiffany and her husband's wedding, that surprise wedding that she threw for him at his Louis. Uh, see, if I could just keep talking, it's going to come through. Um, the surprise wedding that she threw Lewis at the baseball park. So I was just like, okay, let me let me see if I can find out some information. Let me read these news articles about the whole situation. A couple knocked their love for each other out of the park this weekend at New Toyota Field. Toyota Tiffany Whitlow surprised her husband with a wedding ceremony on his 40th birthday on Monday. So I was like, oh, let me tell let me tell y'all what's going on. You know this is your favorite girl. I know y'all. I know this is your fan favorite. I know when y'all seen Tiffany, y'all said, uh, this my girl like nah just kidding i don't know what it is about her that rubs me the wrong way maybe she'll grow on me this upcoming season because i did hear that she was going to be coming back mm. but nevertheless we will give her another chance i mean i don't know about y'all but was y'all feeling her this last season or was it just me because i was not liking this girl but nevertheless she's still a child of god so it's okay but anyway y'all let me just tell y'all what i find what i found out and what i feel like happened with this wedding to me i'm getting the vibe that tiffany just didn't want to give uh lewis a gift so she was like you know what i'm gonna be the gift this wedding is about to be the gift because even in things that she had at the reception were all lewis's favorite foods and i'm just like okay if this is supposed to be a wedding shouldn't it be about both you guys and maybe like your favorite foods too but i'm just like uh, -uh it's giving me very much uh you know your birthday is the day after christmas so i'm gonna just give you this one gift and say that it's your birthday and christmas presents i always felt sorry for people that had like birthdays like that either before christmas or after christmas because i know like some people's parents aunts and uncles family members be doing that to them no it's two separate days so give me two separate gifts but nevertheless i felt like that's what tiffany was doing she probably was tired of waiting because you know um, in the article, they said that Lewis proposed to her two years prior on her birthday. So I guess she's just like, okay, I'm going <laughs> to have a wedding for his birthday. And that's how we're going to do it. But I was just like, I don't know if I really, I really like the idea. I think the idea is unique. Like, oh, a wedding at a baseball field. But I don't think it's something I will necessarily do. Because I'm just thinking about people's mobility. You know, how could the elderly go up and down on steps and little kids? I just feel like it's kind of a dangerous situation. And what if you want to use a bathroom? I always feel like when you go to concerts and stadiums, some bathrooms will be all the way to Mexico. You know, you'd be at the stage or wherever you are, and you see, then you gotta move, and then the bathroom be all the way far down the road. And it's just like, uh uh. So I'm just thinking about mobility and how that really would be in the long run. Although I do feel like it's a very good idea to possibly have, you know, engagement photos done there. I think that's pretty cute. You know, when people have their little engagement themed photo shoots. So I could see her doing that perhaps, but a whole wedding. Uh, I'm not 100% thrilled by. But what do y'all think about y'all fan favorite Tiffany? You know, I gotta throw y'all some shade because I know, like, I feel like a lot of people were not liking her. She was definitely not a fan favorite. So I'm going to have to be sarcastic and say that she was a fan favorite just for smartness. But what y'all think about her having, like, you know, a wedding at um a baseball field? Like I said, I thought the idea was unique. I like that she had, you know, Lewis's favorite foods. Um, they said chicken wings, hamburger sliders, nacho bar, and a pasta bar. I, I would be tearing that food up. <laughs> so I think it's pretty cool. See, it, it is giving me a birthday vibe with those kind of foods. But like I said, I guess she was just like, let me just throw myself in it. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some pimping in it. She's like, you know, I'm just going to do a two for one and you going to marry me this day instead it's your birthday but i feel like that's a whack kind of gift i feel like your birthday should be celebrated separately unless it was his idea now if he wanted to marry her on his birthday okay but i'm pretty sure maybe he wanted like to go away on a trip or like something separate but maybe she did that on purpose so she'll never he'll never forget 
um their anniversary he'll never forget to get an anniversary gift oh, okay tiffany i see what you did there okay okay i think that's all right i think that was pretty smart all right girl i see what you're doing but i did hear um well not here i actually read in the article the news article that they um her her son his son and lewis they hit a ball and it was kind of like to symbolize that they were breaking or hitting away generational curses and i was like okay that's pretty that's pretty cool i like that idea and how you know the audience well i don't want to say the audience but the people in attendance they recited the lord's prayer and i thought that was pretty cute too well i want to say cute but I, i thought that was very powerful and very meaningful you know i like when people do things like that you know put their faith in what they do so i thought that was pretty cool but other than that that's all i had to tell y'all what do y'all think about having um a a surprise wedding for your fiance or your boyfriend or the person that you feel like you one day want to be married to uh would you do that and for the men that could be listening how would you feel if your woman did a surprise wedding for you not a surprise engagement because i did see that that's going on a lot of women are proposing to men nowadays so i um yeah i do see the women doing the surprise engagements but how do y'all feel about a surprise wedding it's pretty extreme man i know us ladies we probably like that if you know we've been talking to a guy for a few years or even a few months you know we'd be ready to go down the aisle if we like him like that but i'm just curious to know how men will feel about that being in that position it seems like lewis was a trooper you see they was over there giving all that marital advice like they've been married 35 45 50 years but nevertheless it's okay not to say that they can't give marital advice because they both been divorced and i feel like divorced people probably do have a lot of information and insight to give you know when you fail that's just a lesson as well you know you don't always have to succeed to take something from a situation so i still feel like them being divorced doesn't negate what they have to say you know it'd be it'd be lessons in our l so i appreciate them being transparent like that but nevertheless i just wanted i'm curious to know like when did lewis have it in his heart to make tiffany his wife not when Tiffany felt like she was ready for that step. I don't know, even though we're in an equal opportunity world, like women can do the same thing that men can do, but I'm kind of traditional when it comes to that part, when it comes to like relationships and stuff like that. I still want the men to propose to me and get one on, get down on one knee and let's make it official. We ain't getting no younger, baby. And I'm ready to be with you, you know, some little mo type time, but that's just me but anyway let me know what y'all think for real i'm gonna end this video right here and we will talk soon talk to you guys later bye